As a company, we're very proud to be part of this Swindon establishment. Swindon has served us well. Um, a number of our staff live in the town and it also gives us good accessibility to most of central southern England. London, Heathrow Airport, Cotswolds, all within our doorsteps. But I think perhaps most importantly, compared to a number of places in central southern England, but Swindon is very affordable. Swindon is successful. One of the most affluent parts of the world. The unemployment rate here is one of the lowest in the country. The GDP higher than the, the national average. So that's a great starting point. But it also is a community that's down to earth. And it's a place where people can get things done. Why Swindon? I think uh, Swindon's um, manufacturing heritage was a, was a key component of that, to continue in, in that vein. And it's really to capitalise on that um, workforce and that skill that we've got and that heritage of, of manufacturing in Swindon. Uh, and that's something that we, we think is vital for the success of this business. Swindon has uh, excellent um, communication um, infrastructure and networks, being very close to, to London. Um, being a, a very centrally positioned to, to help us with our procurement and logistics supply chain activities um, delivering here in Swindon um, and gives us very good links back to exporting our product um, and we utilise um, ports such as Southampton to export our product globally as well. We're all integral to making Swindon the successful thriving business town it is today and, and really I would encourage everyone to look at the opportunities Swindon has, look at the, the workforce that it has, that strong manufacturing heritage um, and continue to support Swindon grow and develop um, and hopefully thrive um, in future years. Swindon has got the infrastructure to have supported uh, established international companies that, such as likes of Honda and Intel that everyone knows about but I think there's also the openness and the willingness for the connections to be made between those more established businesses and new startups and especially particularly new startups in new technology. I also think that Swindon presents a great opportunity to build what I call a true pipeline that can stem between education and industry so that you've got the audience at educational level from school and college and university through to those more established brands that have been in the town for some time. I think everyone is willing to communicate. There's a lot of companies that have set up in a town that foster just that kind of relationship which is all about cross-collaboration um, and working together as teams or as individuals. I think there's the, there's the bed there already. Um, to really kind of like foster and grow and su support a lot of these businesses like ours around the town so that we can actually become quite known for as this like technology and innovation cluster within the UK and I think that through the whole Maiden Swindon it's reached that kind of critical mass where a lot of work's been going on for several years below the surface and we're beginning to really see like the fruits of all those conversations and, uh, and it's kind of reached down to grassroots level to businesses like ours so we can actually play a more active part in those discussions going forward and help shape the future of that.